Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel for this episode 19 on Comston Farm with me, Farmer Murphy. Well, we'll give the dog a little food here before we start this morning. So we're going to do things a little bit differently today because, as you can see, there's rain in the forecast. Now, normally, um, I get up and do my chores early in the morning, and then we get onto the field work. But we're going to uh, do the chores during the rain, and we're going to get on the field work first thing this morning. As you can see, it's pretty early, but the sun is already coming up because we're getting a little later in the year. So we're going to get set up and, and get some seeding done. So uh, this time I am going to use our seed tender, so I'm off to grab our little Richie track here, which is sitting at the cow farm. Basically all ready to haul milk that we're not going to haul till later on. This is uh, the, the very reason we bought this tractor was to use it on the seat bender because uh, it's the only one small enough that the pipe doesn't uh, interfere with. Now I did complete some bailing last night. I did field 4, which is our test field for plowing, behind the garden center, which was also our test field for uh, where we plowed out and the map grass and put made an actual field out of it, and then I also bailed the uh, field of the 22 to run by sugar beets, it's kind of in the neighborhood. So I'll share the results with that here in a little bit. I don't think I've shown our seed tender in use, so I thought uh, I would do that. As you can see, we have fair bit of seeds that's from the corn from our uh, garden center mostly so I, we're at the point where I think we should have enough for our spring seeding I would hope anyway so let's take this over to the field here and we'll come back and grab our big tractor and our seeder we'll leave that sit there for now so I did some calculations and we are going to stick with our very first plan where we're going to put uh, oats in the large field. Um, so we have more than enough oats for our horses. We could probably, uh, I'm suspecting we'll be able to uh, sell a little bit of that off even. Uh, and that's based on the calculations I did last night where we, uh, we made 120,000 liters of pink food. Uh, so we had 60,000 liters in each trough, as you may recall. Let's do a repair here. Ooh-wee! 4,800 bucks. I think that was for the plowing go and the bailing. Anyways, like I was saying, um, that's what we made. Now, of course, we didn't have the pigs the entire year, but if we look here at our little animals, they've only used like 4,000 liters out of each trough so I was kind of thinking uh, just by the seat of my pants that 160,000 liters of pig food uh, with what we already have should be more than enough uh, even with our pigs increasing it'll be we'll get about another 40 pigs I think in about three months and then uh, five months after that we should get 80 um, and then it would be another five months or towards the end of the year uh, before we get, uh, well, at least another 80. So uh, anyways, that was, that works out to 40,000 liters of barley to make 160,000 liters of pig food. And then I did the calculations that are uh, production of how much flour we need to run for bread and cake for the year. And that works out to 50,000 liters. So, 
with a hundred thousand liters of barley we should have enough to keep our production going feed our pigs and oh managed to remember all the buttons to get that done that's amazing <laughs> and i think from the the field we have in the extra field we should have more than enough Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to throw oats in here and barley in the other smaller field. Now this pipe is none too long. We should be able to get it here. There we go. I figure we'll have to fill this up uh, a couple times. Stick it over here right out of our way. Come back and grab it when we need it. And so we're looking for oats. Headlands always dangerous around these hedges with me. <laughs> Actually, I think we'll take it right out to the road here. And uh, as far as now the hay test, so no surprise up at the garden center, plowing out the map grass, and, and like I said, it was blotchy with shrubs and that in it. We did increase the amount of hay we got, no or grass we got, no surprise. We originally had 40 bales and we got 47 bales, so almost a 20% increase. So I would say that's definitely worth, worth doing. But on field four, the one where we had plowed it out, we were seeing if uh, it was the same on FS22 as it was on FS19. There was no point in plowing your grass fields if it was required. And that is indeed the case. We got exactly the same number of bales, 29. So there is no need to plow out your grass fields. So now we know that for sure. I don't know if I'll get all this, these fields seeded in an hour and a half. It's going to be close, and it depends how accurate our forecast is. Anyways, I've been yattering on for a while, and uh, we've seen lots of seeding and planting before, so I'll leave you there, and I'll let you know how we make out uh, when the rain starts. Catch up with in a little bit. Well, there comes our rain pretty much right on schedule. It was for 7 o'clock, so just a few minutes later. So I did manage to get field 6 all seated and uh, just about finished the headlands here on uh, field 10 before it started. And I was working on the rolling. Show you. I got to rolling about three quarters time and we're utilizing the worker. So that's how far we made it. So I didn't think we'd quite have enough time to get it all done. Yeah, yeah good three quarters uh, done here. So, anyways, I'm going to go on and do our chores now because I can do that in the rain. And uh, then I'll get back on this once the rain is stopped. So I'll let you know what time it is. Uh, when that happens, I think the rain's scheduled for about three hours, if we take a look here. Yeah, it's going to rain for a little while, so anyways, it is what it is, life of a farm. We'll catch up with you later. Well, the seeding is complete. The rain went to uh, quarter after ten. 
so you can see it took an additional hour to complete the seeding um, the field here to my right field six is completely rolled and I've got a worker going on uh, field 10 right now so I did manage to complete our chores while uh, the rain was pelting down I also sold off some equipment now some I had mentioned I was going to do some I had not um, I replaced some of that equipment already with used equipment that was uh, for sale but I'm not going to um, tell you what that is it's a, it's a bit of a cliffhanger you'll have to wait for the uh, big reveal when the time comes um, I also reorganized the sheds a little bit just so I could get uh, I had some equipment that was sitting out and uh, I wanted to get it in under shelter but that required some reorganization so let's let that sit there for a second our loan is down to 775 because of that because I put all the money from the sale of equipment on uh, onto the loan so um, I'm hoping um, that uh, some of the other stuff will come up used as well but if it doesn't we'll have to replace it as we need it but for the rest of today, if we take a look at the map, what I'm going to do is, uh, so field 6 and 10, they're good now until next month when we can fertilize. I am going to pick up the bales here behind the uh, garden center here and on field 4 because um, they are, nothing's happening with those fields. So I'm going to pick up the bales mulch and lime those uh, field 22 is going to have corn in it um, field the secret field here I think I'm going to plow that out because uh, we've got 47 bales off of here 44 bales off of here and you can see it should do much better than that just looking at the area cover so I think it'll benefit from being plowed out and the same with this field up here so those ones I am not as concerned about uh, rolling over into next month and the same with field eight it's uh, going to have our soybean in it so I'm going to get the, the those two fields four and find the uh, garden center done first and then I'll work on the others as time allows but I'm going to do that all off uh, camera today so uh, I will bring you back in tomorrow morning probably when the chores are done and let you know how far we made it and what our plan is for me so i will catch up with you then well good morning and welcome to me uh yesterday i managed to get look at the map here all our bales picked up and all our fields mulched so um the field work we're going to start on is we're going to get set up and put corn here in 20 in 22 so I'll get everything gathered up and up to the field and we'll meet up there see you in a minute well I got everything organized I got our seed tender down here you will notice that our liming outfit is down here as well I forgot I needed to lime the grass portion of this field so that I've done that our cedar is here and full so we can get cracking on this now we have plenty of time to get this in and rolled this month along with our soybean and then it's just topping up our grass fields although we do need to do a little spraying uh, that we need to get done as well both for weeds and fertilizer I believe we still uh, need to do a little of that as well Hopefully this month we can get those uh, grass fields uh, straightened out as well, but we'll see. It's not urgent. We're not in dire need of grass anymore. We did pretty good.
Yep, you should be able to see just right over the top of this grass. A little hard to see with those trees there anyways I'll carry on with this this is we've seen uh, this process lots before so I'll bring you back in when we're done see you in a little bit well this is the last strip of our corn going in here uh, I was right I did need to uh, use our seed tender to build the cedar up I did use a uh, worker to do some of it and I went and limed field 8 so it is ready to be plowed. Uh, but before we do that, when we finish this, we will get it rolled. Now for the soybeans, we could either use our cedar or our planter. And as soon as we've got our planter out and it is a little bit wider, we'll just carry on and use it to put our soybeans in. So that's uh, the plan going forward. Well, there we go. That is that. So uh, I will uh, move this down to the other field and uh, We'll get that plowed out, but like I said, first I'll bring up uh, the roller here and we'll get this rolled. Uh, I'll probably use the worker for part of it and I'll start plowing that field. So I will catch up with you in just a little bit. Well, rolling is underway here. Uh, I'm just going to get the headlands done and the field squared up and I'll get work going on that and then we can uh, get plowing on field eight. We'll need to obviously rock pick that as well before we can uh, put our soybeans in. It may be spring here on the map, but in real life we're in uh, mid-December. Busy time of the year for most folks getting ready for Christmas. Our granddaughter is uh, 14 months this month. So rather than do an advent, uh, she's really into books. And she didn't have that many. My wife went and bought her a book for every day of December. And she gets to open that up every evening and get a new book. But like most kids her age, she's more interested in tearing off the paper and playing with the paper than she is the books, really. Now, I'm sure it'll be the same at Christmas. Could probably just wrap her up empty boxes and she'd be just as happy. But it is pretty, pretty exciting time around here having a, a little one like that around again after all these years. Grandpa's job most of the time to defend the Christmas tree from her attacks. <laughs> it used to be just the dogs you needed to worry about.
Anyways, I'll carry on with this, and once I get a worker, uh, able to get a worker going on here, I will uh, meet you down at Field 8, and we'll get some plowing done. So, see you in a little bit. Well, we're set up here to do our plowing. As you can see, our money's gone down, and that's just vehicle repairs is pretty much all I did. So, uh, yeah, they're getting a little expensive to repair. I think we'll leave that little patch up there just to give some room to get around our pig food production. Just for this little section here, I'm going to allow crate fields. Just clean up this edge a little bit. Oops. Get just a little bit closer to that wall, I think. Something like that. This job isn't going to take too long, so I just thought I'd keep you guys on board. I don't know if I've, I'm sure I've probably showed plowing uh, with this plow during this series before, but like I said, this won't take too long. And it is farming. Oh, maybe what I should do is do a little time lapse.
cheat there a little bit. <laughs> there we are. Job done. Ready for rock picking. But before I do that, I'm going to run up and check on our worker and see how he's making out with the rolling. So I'll do that, and I'll get our rock picker down here, and uh, I will catch up with you guys in just a couple minutes. Well, there we go. There's the rock picking cleaned up. I did get more than 215 liters of rock off of there. This is the second trailer load. Now we're ready to get on to the seating. I'll just, oh, I'll just get sit right here for now. We got our planter all set up here and ready to go. Better change the seed type. Oh, went right by it before I forget. All right. Well, you've seen lots of this in the last day or so, so I'll leave you there, and I'll get this taken care of. Well, there we go. That field is now complete. So that uh, concludes our crop work for this spring, and it was another busy but productive day here on the farm. I think we've... Uh, earned ourselves a cool drink so i think we'll wrap it up there for today on the farm and as well for this episode so if you're still with me uh, thanks for watching i really appreciate it if you found this entertaining or informative in any way i encourage you to hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see when other content like this lands uh, hit that old notification bell but for this episode, that's it. Farmer Murphy, signing off. Till next time.